What's up, YouTube? Um, I just wanted to quickly discuss the brush tool and um, how to paint directly onto video. Um, so I'm just going to load in a piece of footage and drop it into this icon here to create a composition. And I've got this piece of footage from a music video. And as you can see, um, we've got kind of like a wrinkle in the white sheet that was behind this guy. And then... Um, well, usually it's kind of easier to just clean this up with a mask, you know. But there are times when um, the brush tool comes in handy for like maybe tiny little touch-ups in between fingers and, you know, just getting rid of like a stray object or stray hairs or anything that might pop up into the scene for just a couple of frames, like, um, you know, five, ten frames kind of work. So um, all you have to do is... I'm just going to go through the very basics for this part one and then part two I might discuss the much uh, more detailed options you can see down here. But um, The two panels you'll be working with are brushes and a paint. The paint's usually closed so go to Windows Paint to open it up. If I click on the brush tool it kind of acti activates the options. And um, Normally duration set to constant but if you set that duration to single frame it's quite handy, it's quite cool because you can um, kind of make changes frame by frame automatically. So um, to activate the, to go into brush mode, you either double click the footage here or double click the layer down here. I'm just gonna click the screen twice. And now you can see we're in the kind of brush mode because the cursor has become uh, a round kind of brush. And I can just start painting straight onto the video so obviously this bit would be easier to do with masking maybe, but I'm just going to try and show you how it works. Now I've done this paint job here. This only lasts one frame. So when I go to the next frame, it's back to kind of normal. It's back to how it was. So I have to go into this frame and paint, paint out this section. And then go to the third frame. As you can see, it's quite cool in the way that you can just paint directly onto the video. And uh, this is exactly the same way the um, clone stamp tool works as well, which I'll just get into in a minute. But if you open up the layer, if you go back here, it's basically everything's collapsed. All, you, all the work you've done is kind of collapsed. But um, if you click, go into effects, you can see the paint um, option here. And all the brush strokes you made are, are there. And you can extend the times and you can shift them around. You can play with the blending options here. All kinds of cool stuff. And um, this is how the clone stamp tool works as well. So basically if you click the clone stamp tool next to the brush, double click to go into brush mode. And then hold down alt and click a certain area. And now if I paint, I can paint like an exact copy of that area. And then um, if I go back a frame or forward a frame, I don't have to hold down Alt and click again. It just remembers it for the entire duration. So I'm just... And then... Um, I guess this could be handy for uh, maybe painting out blemishes. You know, things like that where you can't use, really use a paint, uh, brush tool because it's going to be too kind of, you know, solid. You, you want to kind of use the clone stamp tool to get kind of a piece of skin and then uh, paint out a blemish and um, you know usually there's much much easier ways to do these things like using mocha tracking the blemish or uh, you know you can even use a tracker in After Effects but um, there are times when you get down to the really kind of there are times when you really want to get in there and do some manual work and that's what the brush tool is great for so um that's basically an introduction to the brush tool. Very basic, very simple tutorial just to get you uh, kind of up and running. And then in part two, I'll be discussing all these options here, going through each option on the paint uh, panel and also the brushes panel. So uh, thanks for watching.